Here's iteration one. So this is where the water comes from. And if you look up, you got that. It's filling up. That tells me the level and the temperature of the water. And it should be fully automated. The lights, you can turn on and off. They're just really, they're not grow lights, but they're just there to kind of highlight the, uh, the plants once they get big. There's a fan here based off of uh, Mike Walker's design to keep the water regulated. And then the depth meter's in there, along with the pump and the thermometer. So the thermometer, as you can tell, here's the fan. So it takes a reading about every few seconds or so, and there you go, 25 degrees, and the fan's on. And that just falls in into place there. And now it's off because the water, I put it in the water and the water's pretty cold. The uh, motor, this is an automatic uh, valve or an electric valve. So the water goes through the filter system into here and the valve turns on when it falls below, I put 90% for now. So, and the motor will not work, or I got the motor program to not turn on until it's over 50% full so it doesn't cavitate. So that's it. And it's all, you could do it on the phone too, using the uh, particle to control it. So this is take one. My wife's got some cucumbers and herbs and stuff like that. So we'll see how well they do. My chili plants are still looking a little on the sad side right now. And that's the, uh, that's my iteration of the tower at least. So and you could turn the lights on and off. I haven't figured you could, I could get them to change colors, but I haven't written the code yet. So right now they just kind of do the, the water falling rainbow scheme.